What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a sketch illustration of Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's. Now the first thing you wanna do is establish the proportions of our drawing using some basic shapes and lines. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. Start from the very top. Just gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Now from the center, draw another line going across from left to right. So I'll start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now I can use these lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page. From that center point, let's step up towards the top. It's gonna to mark off the top of our circle. And then we wanna take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that process across this horizontal line. Taking this distance over towards the left, marking that off, and then going over towards the right. Now we can always go back and readjust the placement if we need to. Now we're gonna connect each of these points with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just wanna get the right size and placement on our page. We can always go back and just smooth this out. And the more we practice this, the better we'll get. Let's add another guideline coming down from the side of our circle. Let's start with the left side coming all the way down. And do the same thing on the right. Now these lines will help us with the proportions of our drawing. Let's add another line going across the bottom of our circle. Extend that out toward the left and then right side. Now from here we start blocking out the basic facial features starting with the eye. Let's find the halfway point between this point and the outside of our circle on the left. I'm just gonna mark this off with a short line and we'll find the halfway point on the right. Now these marks are gonna be the center of the eye, so we're gonna draw a circle going around the outside. Start from the top, just try to get an equal distance from the center to the outside of our circle. Just going back and just readjusting, and we'll do the same thing on the right. I'm just gonna line this up, going all the way around the right side, and then down towards the bottom. Again, these don't have to be perfect. We're gonna come back and just readjust that later. Now we're gonna draw a half circle along the bottom for the muzzle. Let's start on the bottom left, curve this in towards the eye, across the middle, and then back down on the right. And then in the center, we're gonna draw a rectangle for the nose. Start with a straight line going across. Let's come straight down the side with a short line, and we'll close off the bottom. Now from the outside of our circle, we're just gonna angle the head, coming down and in towards the bottom corners of the jaw. And I'll connect the bottom with a curve, coming down, just gonna round up the chin, and then pull that back up towards the right. Now let's go back up to the top and draw the base of the ears, starting directly above each eye. Draw a half circle on the top of the head. And then we draw the center bone of each ear, starting from the inside of the half circle, angle this up and out, draw a small circle on the end. Let's go over towards the right side, just gonna angle this up a little bit higher, right about there, and draw a circle for the joint along the top. Now from the center, we're just gonna angle the ear going up and out towards the right, going up to about, about there, add a small circle, then the ear going out the end and then again adding one more circle. Now we want to go back and add some volume to the ears using these lines as a guide. From the bottom let's step up. It's going to follow that same angle line going up towards the top and we'll just flatten off the top of the ear going across that circle. Angle this back down and then in towards the side of the head. Let's go over towards the right stepping in. Start with the inside edge of the ear going up towards the top. Draw a straight line going across that circle and then bring that back down toward the head. Let's go back up to this top corner and let's up again, going across that circle and then in. And do the same thing across the top and then come down. Let's go back down and add another guide for the teeth. From these two points, we're gonna add a curve. Just coming down slightly in the middle back up towards the right. Let's 
Let's go halfway between this point and the bottom of the jaw. Add another curve. Going in towards the middle and then back up. Now from the side of the mouth, we're going to step back in. So we go out and then up towards the side of our circle. Now that we have a rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back in and add a second level of detail and refine our lines. We're gonna start by detailing out the bottom edge of the eyelid. Let's we'll start from the outside of this line. Add some curves coming around and just working our way in. It's almost like a little wave going across the eyelid. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's work our way up toward the top of the eyelid. Now we're gonna add a gap along the top, like a little fold and a crack. Just working our way down along the inside and down towards the eye. And move over and do the same thing on the right. Just adding some cracks above the eye. Now working our way along the bottom, adding some more cracks. down the side of the cheek and down towards the bottom of the muzzle. And I'm going to add some shape to the nose. I'm just going to round up the top. Let's add a small bevel along the bottom. And then just working our way across the bottom of the muzzle. Now at this stage I'm not going too dark. Just sketching this in. We'll come back and add some contrast later. Now I'm just going to trace the outside of the eyeball along the bottom, just pulling the eyes in. So I have a little gap along the outside. And then drawing a half circle along the top of the pupil, and just tucking that in underneath the eyelid. And now just working our way around the side of the head, coming down towards the cheeks. Again, adding some more cracks on the side of the head. And then we'll just work our way up towards the top of the ear. Just add some holes along the top of the head. And you can just place this anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be exactly how I'm drawing it. And some random holes along the head. And now we're just going to move up and add some shape to the ears. Just breaking off the top, coming back down toward the bottom. Also adding some holes and cracks. Add a couple wires coming out from the top of the ear. Now moving over towards the right side. I'm just going to give a little bit more shape to the outside of the ear. Again, just adding some more cracks. Round up the tip of the ear. I'm just going to add some bars connecting the tip to the base of the ear. A couple lines going across. I'm drawing the back side. Now coming back down, I'm just going to add some shape to the top row of teeth. So just separating out the teeth and just working our way towards the outside.
the bottom row of teeth, just adding a gap in between, and just working our way out towards the side. And once we're happy with the shape of our drawing, we can go back in and darken up our contrast. And I always like starting with the eyes. Just tracing out those contours. And we'll just darken up the inside of those cracks, starting around the eyes. And then also along the top. I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting with the inside of these cracks, coming in towards the eyelid. And from the eye, we're just going to work our way out. And work our way around the muzzle, adding that fold, and coming down the nose. Just darken up that bottom edge, coming in towards the top of the bevel. And we'll lightly shade in the top of the nose. Now let's fill the inside of the mouth going around the teeth.
And now we're going to go ahead and start adding some shadows and contrast. Darken up the top of the teeth and just blend that down. Just creating a bit of a shadow coming down from the muzzle. And just darken up the side of the teeth and just fade that in. Add some wires coming out from the side of the head. I'm going to rough this in. Now as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Spring Trap. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.